Hello, you're watching yet another episode of In Person with me, Lakshmi Baker. And today we're going to interview another really stirring personality. I'm so excited to be interviewing him. He's none other than young Bahagia academician, Tansri Emeritus Professor Dato, Dr. Augustine Ong Soon Hock. A mouthful, but I have absolutely no qualms about it because a discussion uh, on Malaysian palm oil rarely takes place without the mention of Tansri Ong because he yeah. is considered by many to be the father figure uh, of uh, in, in the Malaysian palm oil industry. Yeah. You received the Merdeka Awards 2012 in the category yeah. of Health, Science yeah. and Technology yeah. you know, for your outstanding and I've studied uh, yeah. you, yeah. It's, it's absolutely outstanding in the research yeah. of uh, and development of uh, the chemistry and technology of palm yeah. oil and also because you've been advocating and promoting the Malaysian palm oil industry so much to the yeah. world. Yeah. Now talking about promoting yeah. palm oil to the world, Tansri, yeah. There has been a, a problem uh, which concluded in 1989 about mm. the reception that palm oil got in the international front. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about what kind of challenges did palm oil take during yeah. that time and if it's, it has been resolved today? Yeah. Well, mm, palm oil also a new entrant mm -hmm. into the world of oils and fats. Mm -hmm. But uh, <coughs> overall, the con the you look at the and by anal through analysis, mm -hmm. this, you look at the sexual amount saturated fatty acid in palm oil is about forty to fifty percent. Mm -hmm. So it's quite high compared to other oils. Okay. So yeah, being about twenty six, canola oil about six percent, mm -hmm. and because of that, and uh, our, you know, because of the theory of Keith Anderson, you know, okay, uh, this so the people conclude. The palm oil, because of the saturation, must be bad for your heart. Is saturated fat bad for your health? Uh, <clears throat> Is it directly bad for someone's health, so to speak? Um, yeah, it depends. It mm. depends. Uh, you need saturation, you need mono, you need poly. You, know? okay. you need a balance. All right. But there's also uh, animal-based saturated fat and okay. plant-based. Plant -based, right. So. In the case of palm oil, mm -hmm. uh, we know that this oil has been used for five thousand years. You know, it has. Uh, okay. Yeah, in 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 Egypt, for example. Okay. And um, and there was no problem. We are producing millions of tons with export to the world. Mm -hmm. There's no case of uh, uh, people suffering from it. You know? Right. Uh, we also tested. This oil, and um, there was a report from a work in Holland mm -hmm. and published in the Nutrition Review. And the conclusion is that palm oil does not behave like saturated fat. Though it has a higher uh, content of saturated fat, it does not behave. Behave, it does not behave. How is that possible? Uh, that this, is, that, no, this is very interesting. In okay. fact, I mean, we, we, we have done a lot of human studies, animal studies, human studies, that palm oil does, is, not, uh, is not adverse to heart disease. Okay. But how do you explain that? Right. Well, and, um, I have published a work in 2002 in the United Nations mm -hmm. uh, on food and nutrition bulletin. Okay, right. And uh, to sh show that um, because of the position you know, the palm oil, uh, all oil and, and fat have got a structure like a twinning fork. Okay. You know, the music, you have a twinning fork, you know. Okay. And uh, so in the twinning fork, you have three positions. Mm -hmm. You have one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And um, now this is interesting. Tell well, me. we found out that at the second position of the molecule, okay. it's highly unsaturated. Oh, so that's what, oil. that's what creates the effect. <laughs> the, the effect of, that, of palm oil. Right, uh, right, right. So 90% of the fatty acid in the second position is unsaturated. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, and then you compare to animal fat, uh -huh. and, uh, the, and lard, and even human milk, you know. Okay. Uh, second position is highly saturated. Right, that's really interesting. But for babies, you need the saturation to, to increase the 
weight increase, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, but animal fat, there's high saturated. So, I'd say lard and palm oil, although they have similar overall composition, mm -hmm. lard will raise your blood cholesterol, palm oil does not. Right. And this whole uh, myth, so to speak, about oil being bad for your health, can you explain a little bit yeah. more about this okay. misconception one, of oil? Okay, number one, this is over, overdone, I think. Yeah. You need oils and fats. Yeah. Because you have some of your vitamins of uh, fat soluble. Mm -hmm. So, WHO, mm -hmm. you know, uh, recommends that you should consume about 20 to 22 kilograms of oil and fat per person per year. Okay. Uh, and then your overall energy from oil and fat should be about 30%. Mm -hmm. And so that is uh, optimum. Right. Uh, consumption of oils and fats. And a lot of people feel that oils make them fat, but there's no real correlation between oils and building fat tissues in the body, is there? Um, okay, then there is, but this is depending on the structure. Okay. Um, that's why, for, so in my uh, paper in the uh, United Nations mm -hmm. uh, bulletin, we say about it's important where the fatty acids are, are located in the molecule. Okay. Now, I've just got a paper published in British Journal of Nutrition. Okay. And we show that palm oil is a perfect structure mm -hmm. because the major, mm -hmm. fatty, the major fatty acid at the liver position, the middle position is mainly unsaturated. As you mentioned earlier. But the, the end position, one three position, is uh, palmitic, which is uh, long chain saturated. Okay. And because they are long chain saturated fatty acids, they are not easily reabsorbed in the in your stomach. Oh, okay. Uh, and so they are excreted. And okay. so, in fact, palm oil is less fattening. Right. So most of it is not really yeah. digested by uh, the body. So yeah. when you consume it, it's not really going to go in. I mean, stay yeah, the yeah, body. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. Some of it uh, will they will not be retained because uh, the long chain saturated fat acids are, are excreted. Right. So uh, with with that much of benefits, yeah. Why still the opposition from the West? And and uh, you played a significant role in the program to yeah. counter the anti palm oil campaign yeah. in 1987 yeah. to 1989, which came to a favorable conclusion in 1989. But recently, yeah. your colleague, Dr. Ahmad Ibrahim, the CEO of the Academy of Science, yeah, okay, all right. part of, just published an article about new threats, of, uh, you know, and uh, that, that under the guise of saving the environment, some nations' laws impede the import of palm oil. Okay. Why is this still happening okay. when well, obviously research To has understand shown what is happening, uh, yeah. Uh, it is a trade issue. Trade war, I mean, it's a trade... Uh, it is a trade uh, matter mm -hmm. under the guise of health and environment. Okay, we want to know more about uh, what uh, Tansri means by trade issues. Uh, uh, to find out about that, we need to stick around and I'll see you right after this break. Saya fikir kita perlu berbincang. Saya ingin menjamin masa depan anak-anak saya. Kita perlu berbincang. Produk Takaful Malaysia yang komprehensif membolehkan anda memanfaatkan sepenuhnya kewangan anda di mana anda berada dan apa yang anda cita-citakan. Saya fikir saya perlu berbincang dengan seseorang. Saya rasa kita perlu berbincang. Takaful Malaysia. Setiap hari, Gala TV dibawakan kepada anda secara langsung tiga kali sehari. Gala TV bersama hos anda memaparkan buletin hiburan tempatan dan antarabangsa, perkembangan muzik, filem, teater, fashion, temu bual eksklusif. Secara langsung, Gala TV setiap hari tiga kali sehari di Astro Awani berita segenap dimensi. Hi, welcome back. You're still watching In Person with me, Lakshmi Baker. Now, when, when I left you just now, uh, Tansri was telling us that it was the trade issues that is causing palm oil to not be able to break the barriers into Western uh, supermarkets, so to mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. So we want to know more about what are these trade issues you're talking about? Because mm -hmm. 
uh, in the 80s, mm -hmm. you actually managed to advise the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, yeah. you know, and about the nutritional aspects of palm oil, you know, yeah. and also you managed to advise American media and nutritionists yeah. Yeah. and establish several nutrition advisory committees. Yeah. Right. When all of this has already happened in the 80s, yeah. why are we still facing uh, this barrier at this point in time? Yeah. Uh, as you said, it's a, often it's a trade issue. Mm -hmm. uh, there's competition you know, okay. between palm oil and uh, other vegetable oil. Right. What I want to mention that uh, since the um, uh, 80s, uh, mm. 80s, we have been doing a lot of research and we have published this you know, right. in peer reviewed journals. So we have about yep. four or five mm. issues mm -hmm. published, so all the properties are recorded. So it's available. Uh, some of the information is available I think, from NPOC website. You know? Right. Uh, and when and it's accessible and readily available these days yeah, with yeah. our la latest technology and the internet yeah, and whatnot, yeah. Yeah. people can read for themselves about the benefits. Yeah. So even if the trade issues are, are going to be hampering this progress yeah. of the benefits of yeah, palm oil, yeah, yeah. people can read for themselves now. Sure. And the competition is with uh, the likes of olive oil, and corn oil, yeah. and I also uh, read that uh, palm oil is as good as olive oil, yeah, right, but right. probably one fifth the cost. Yeah, right, true. And this work has been published, uh -huh. work done in um, first started with uh, in geomedical research, with the University of Sydney, yeah. and uh, some work done in China. Mm -hmm. So and all this has been published, you know. But uh, uh, we have to let, let me put this way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have to continuously, continuously mm -hmm. uh, do more work and then publish it. Now, new sure. results. I just mentioned you earlier that yeah. I have s some of this work. Uh, additional properties that saturated mm -hmm. fats are in fact useful mm -hmm. in the right position to mm -hmm. reduce uh, fattening. Yeah. To make this knowledge more widespread, so yeah, that yeah. The, the, when it goes to the micro level, the consumers, we want yeah. them to understand the benefits of palm That's oil. Right. Yeah. Can you share with us what are the benefits of palm oil? Oh, okay. Nutrition-wise. Nutrition-wise, yeah. okay, for nutrition-wise. <laughs> there are so many other yeah. benefits. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll go to the bio yeah. uh, fuel. You see, number one, the oil is uh, quite stable. Mm -hmm. So if you use it in the normal way of Say frying. Like we Malaysians, we love to stir fry our uh, food stir -fry. and deep fry. So they're less easily oxidized. Right. That's number one. Okay. Now, it, now the, the the China particularly and the world now mm -hmm. is getting to uh, find that instant noodles uh, are quite convenient because right. they're working hard. They, all they have to do is just pour hot water. Mm -hmm. you know. Now, if you <coughs> instant noodle. And finally, got to be fried in oil. Mm -hmm. If it's fried in palm oil, it's stable. Okay. And if you have polyunsaturated oil, like soya bean, the shelf life is short. Right. Uh, if you oxidize oil, is bad for your heart. The shelf life of the noodle is noodle. longer. Uh, longer. Yes, fried right. in palm, yeah, palm oil because oil, yeah. of the stability of yeah. the structure. Right. So first, it is um, so nutrients why to have oxidized oil is not good for your health. Mm -hmm. But when does the oxidization happen in the in the oil? Is it when it reaches smoking point when we cook? No, the oxidation can take place even at room temperature. It can. Uh, and uh, maybe of when course, you leave like they say, don't expose it to sunlight. Maybe that, then oxidization can happen. There's a process called autoxidation, okay. or toxic, or auto 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 oxidation. <laughs> okay. But uh, what it means is that mm -hmm. there. Are Atmosphere, you know, about twenty-one percent of the air is oxygen. Okay. So, so when the oil in a is state, contact, yeah, even at room temperature, right, uh, then the oxygen and the oil will interact. Right. Uh, right, right and right. Well, it can be oxidized just as, just as you expose butter. Okay. You put butter, expose, okay. and it will turn rancid. Which brings me to the question: Is yeah. that why the Western community is not? Uh, too keen on palm oil because does it behave differently in a colder weather, or it's it's stable in colder weather because it does it does tend to mm. Um, mm. to sol to become solid in mm. colder weather. Uh, does that change uh, the okay. properties? Uh, uh, okay, okay. There is another phenomenon which I have to explain. Uh. Okay. Uh, so you have to understand that oxygen mm. will attack the more unsaturated the oil is, the mm. more easily it's oxidized. 
Okay. That, that is chemistry. Right, okay. <laughs> that's chemistry. Yeah. That's your area. <laughs> okay, so that's from chemistry, chemistry came to uh, power. Uh, I think chemistry okay. will accept that. Uh, we, we, can, we can explain that. Uh, right. Because of the double bond mm -hmm, that's present. Mm -hmm. Easily oxidized. And so to prevent the oxidation, we sometimes you have to put, when you ship, you put on the nitrogen and so on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, the other observation mm -hmm. that palm odine doesn't remain clear in the cold weather. Mm -hmm. Now, to understand that, it's a change of state, you know. Okay. It's just like water. Right. Now, water is clear. Okay. If you hit 100 degrees, it becomes vapor, right. steam. If you okay. cool it below zero, it becomes ice. Right. And so, similarly, the molecules in pamoline, mm -hmm. uh, some of them will crystallize at low temperature. Okay. Uh, and the sudden uh, of the track this right. But does that change the... That values. doesn't change the value. Okay, it's just a physical. So you change. just warm it up, the whole thing clear up again. <laughs> you you raise it to forty degrees, all will be clear. Right. But you see, but pebbles are not no, the only oil that crystallizes. All oil. Olive oil also yeah. crystallizes. Yeah. Lard, coconut oil also <laughs> crystallizes. Yeah, they no, all do. They all. They do. do yeah. yeah, because because people out there, consumers, we we really don't understand this. You don't understand. When you it's see a, oil becoming uh, solid, then you think that it's probably no, not bad. It, or yeah. Or, the nutrient, is that the nutritional that water has become down. ice. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's still water. It's just a change in shape, but the nutrients yeah, are still there. Okay, we're going to go to a quick commercial break okay, again. Okay, right. When we come back, we're going to talk about the use of palm oil other than nutritional benefits of for the human okay, body. Right, okay, right, right, right after okay, this break. Right. Okay. Okay, right, right. Isnin hingga Sabtu, Business Alternative. Padat dengan idea segar menungkah arus konvensional. Tanah pun dia boleh bunuh bakteria pada nadi semua raja. Orang yang makan rempeyi ni, dia boleh tahu rasa rempeyi macam mana. Kita adakan sama musafir ala hotel. Sejam pindah kaucur, memang nak buat long term belum biasa. Fikir di luar kota, cabar normal dan pemikiran bisnes biasa. Business Alternative, Isnin hingga Sabtu, 11.30 malam di Astro Awani. Berita segenap dimensi. Hi, you're still with me, Lakshmi mm. Baker. We're still watching in person, and I'm still with Tan Sri Ong. Isn't he such an adorable person? He's so sweet. Mm -hmm. you, you truly are. Yeah, <laughs> Tan Sri, just now when we left uh, yeah. our viewers, we yeah. were talking about the benefits of palm oil, right? right. So one of it was um, the nutritional benefits. Yeah. What is the other benefit that we want to share with our uh, viewers? Yeah. Palm oil, remember there's another co-product called palm kernel oil. Okay. And these two oils, in fact, because of the composition, mm -hmm. they can be there are multitude of uh, application, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we call palm oil very versatile. Right. Uh, besides um, the cooking oil and um, uh, margarine, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's also uh, used for specialty fat uh, with chocolate. You right, can make chocolate right, from yeah. palm oil. Yeah. And. Um, and not only food, but also it can be used for non-food. Biodiesel. Right, biodiesel. Right. And um, your, your uh, detergents, you know. Amazing. Yeah. So it's not just coconut oil that, that, you know, people say every single part of the tree can be used for something. But palm oil is soon caught up with that as well. It's really, really beneficial. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put the serious yeah. stuff aside for a while. Oh, We've yeah. been talking about palm oil oh, yeah. uh, for a long time. Oh, yeah, okay, I want right. to get to know more about this adorable uh, man that I mentioned just oh, now, okay, right? right? So Tan Sri, you were born a good 79 years ago in Malacca. All right. Raised by your grandma, right? Yeah, right. And you didn't have parents to raise you at that time. Oh, yeah. All right. Tell us a little bit more about this. How come you're raised by grandma? <laughs> okay. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, we had a tradition in the family. Okay. So my mother due you know, to deliver. Mm -hmm. She would go to this ancestral home. Okay. So she went. She went to ancestral for my eldest brother. Mm -hmm. Then came my turn, mm -hmm. and she decided to leave me in the ancestral home, which was oh, okay. It was quite I don't know for whatever Childhood. reason, but maybe Child. she can cope with two, okay. two boys, you know. Okay. Boys are naughty, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I was left there, and I grew up with a grandmother, but. But I was very happy actually because yeah I was um, and your father passed away as well uh, uh, when passed you were away seven. at the age of seven seven right seven. okay then I grew up there with my mm -hmm. grandmother mm -hmm. but uh, interestingly 
she gave me a lot of responsibility. You know? Grandma? <laughs> you know, yeah. Okay. And you grew up in the rubber plantations. Yeah, rubber My father grew up in the rubber plantations. You know, well, also, you know, yeah, right. yeah. So you are a kampong boy at heart, I guess. Yeah, kampong boy. Yeah, right. You still go back to your kampong? Uh, now and again, yes. Um, okay. And, um, but I was, we have a good uh, orchard and, uh, mm -hmm. and also a possibility of, of gardening and so on. Mm -hmm. So I was in charge of everything, you know, mm -hmm. from uh, looking after the compound, mm -hmm. uh, we grow vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, carry water from the well, <laughs> you wow. clean up the well. You know, know? all that, you know, in comparison to our lifestyle these days, right, I think any day I'd want to go back, I mean, maybe not every day, yeah. but maybe for the weekends, it sounds yeah. so... Uh, it's so refreshing, yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. And is that really different from the kind of life you live right now? Um, <laughs> well, yeah, right, right. I mean, now I'm okay, I'm all right. Um, you must be doing very well yeah, for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about your family. All How many right. kids do you have? Four children. Four children. Um, I have um, two boys, two girls. Okay. Uh, my elder son decided to... You know, when I went to Oxford, you mm -hmm. know, to my sabbatical, I brought my whole family. Nice, nice. And at that time, my grand, my my elder son finished mm -hmm. his form five mm -hmm. quite well, about eight distinction. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as well as some of the top students in nowadays. Wow, but still, <laughs> yeah. still. But it was good. It was he done well. Mm -hmm. And um, they tried very hard to fill in daddy's footsteps, right? Because I'm not sure. you were achieving then, you were probably <laughs> no. achieving while they were born and after that and still are, so it's like, like I said just now, yeah, you know, he doesn't yeah. give us an excuse yeah, to retire right. at 55 yeah, like yeah, earlier yeah. plan. Yeah. So they're doing really well. Your son is now... Uh, uh, he's a professor of medicine. In UK, in the UK. In, U in Sheffield? Uh, Sheffield. Sheffield, University right. of Sheffield, yeah. Right. And uh, he's constantly on the ne nephrology, the oh, kidneys, uh, kidneys, working on the kidneys. Nephrology, and, um, yeah. I want to tell you something that he made a remark. Mm -hmm. uh, why he's not doing chemistry? He said, mm -hmm. Dad, chemistry is so easy. Right. So he wanted to do medicine to know more challenging. Okay. Oh, he said the chemistry is too easy. No? Is that what so, he said? Yeah, right. He's got such a smart <laughs> father. So now, kacang putih lah, they say, right? In Malay, like, I want to do something harder. No, so no, he decided no, to no, specialize no, in nephrology. No, no, wow. No, no, no. So what's the other son doing? And the now, the other daughters? son went to LSE, London School of Economics. Such high uh, achievers. Oh, and then uh, he was in venture capital. Now he's lecturing in finance, mm -hmm. management, mm -hmm. and uh, how to commercialize invention. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he's lecturing, you know. Nice, and nice. then uh, my next one is a daughter, mm -hmm. and she she uh, prefer uh, to do something else, and okay. uh, and she's a uh, in accountancy. Okay. And quite active in that corporate profession and uh, corporate area, corporate and she's head of of uh, um, audit. Uh, unit of the of the company. Interesting. Uh, your head, children are, uh, are doing so well. Well. So I mean, yeah. your children have achieved all this in their lives. Yeah. And I believe that you you're a strong uh, advocate for uh, um, the young population, the younger yeah. generation, yeah. 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 to yeah. actually. Uh, believe in themselves a little bit more and yeah. you're a strong advocate for ideas as well you keep saying this a lot that ideas are yeah. your priority yeah. can you tell us a little bit more about this okay but maybe before that I'm just mm -hmm. saying to my younger daughter oh okay yeah, sure, daughter, carry on, carry on. Uh, did it Benson and now is uh, with the uh, Queen's University okay uh, Queen's and doing about medical bacteriology look after the safety of the wards and, and in the microbiology area now quite interestingly mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering mm -hmm. uh, what influenced them, but somehow mm -hmm. uh, my life has some influence in what they're doing. You know? mm -hmm. uh, and then they want to do research and so on. They so, do. And they do research, mm -hmm. medical research. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, your question about the, the young. Yeah. Now, see, I believe uh, that uh, we shouldn't emphasize on hard work. Well, of course, uh, it's important, hard work is important. But we must. Emphasize on interest. That's that's amazing coming from a person you know your age yeah. saying that it's just not all about slogging. Uh, yeah. yeah, because you know the, the reason is that if you are interested, mm. you'll be working hard without realizing that you're working hard. Yeah, you <laughs> but enjoy if you just work hard, people wondering when should I stop working hard? You know. Yeah, yeah. But if you're interested, you keep on working mm. and you and you work very hard actually. But you say, no, that's no work, it's pleasure, no, it's something like that. So <laughs> what is your secret? Let's, let's just um, part with 
you sharing with our viewers and with me, yeah. what is the secret? Yeah. I don't think people would guess you're 79, you're going on to 80, you still yeah. are working in this office, yeah. you know, you've got boxes of research material to, yeah, yeah. to review, and you, you're going strong. What is your advice for people out there who probably think that 60 is the age to retire? How do you... How yeah. do you go on? No, okay. Now, the, to answer that, <laughs> when I was much younger, in the 30s, and I was talking to my other siblings, no, yeah. they all want to retire before, before 40. Right. And I said, no, no, I'm not going to retire because, not because uh, retirement is no good, but I'm happy in what I'm doing. Why should I retire? Why do you want to retire for something you're yeah. And there's some different activity you're happy in. Mm -hmm. If you're happy to do something, like you ask an artist to retire. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he loves painting, you know. If you love your job, and why are you then why do you retire, retire from? So I'm so actually, I'm that state. I, I, I love to, I tell you, what I love to is uh, understanding not so much about making money, but I'm interested to understanding nature. Right. I'm fascinated by nature. And, um, one of my interests is to, to find out what is not known, you know, and just like the nutrition and so on. And, and to, uh, this is different from, it's like uh, adventure, you know. Uh, you, sometimes you, as an adventure, you go to a place to discover things. But in the case, in my case, it's an adventure in the mind. Uh, you want to know uh, the truth of certain things and you have to deduce this. You ha need a mental eye, not your... F of course, my eyes are getting falling. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, I can't see. I can't see the molecules. I can see how they react. Mm -hmm. But the excitement is based on their, uh, based on their uh, properties. You know? What, what they show, the evidence of what their properties are, mm -hmm. of observation, I deduce that something is happening. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then I uh, design experiment to test that they, what I think is correct. And that, that entire process uh, uh, does that, everything for you. That's what, yeah, that's that's what, what you live everything. for. It's right. hypothesis or hypothesis to theories. Uh, yes, yeah, and yeah. I'm confident you're just going to keep going and there are going to be new things you're going to discover yeah. and I'm not ready to see you go anytime soon. <laughs> I'm sure our viewers <laughs> share the same uh, feelings. That's all for In Person this yeah, episode yeah. at Tan Sri Ong. Thank yeah, you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay, you're such a beautiful thank soul. You, thank you, thank you. That's yes. all for In Person for yeah. today. Stay tuned next week for another yeah. amazing episode of In Person with me, Lakshmi Baker again, where we will be interviewing yet another amazing, stimulating, stirring personality. Bye for now.